Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com. In this YouTube SEO video, you're gonna learn my exact strategy for optimizing my videos as I chase down 100,000 subscribers. I'm gonna show you the exact tool I use and we're actually gonna get on the computer so you can see how I use this YouTube SEO tool to boost my reach, boost my clicks, boost my engagement, and ultimately to get more views. So this is a really tactical video that we're gonna get into. First, I wanna know, are you new to the channel? Have you ever seen this video or me before? If not, say no in the comments below. If you've seen my videos before and this popped up in your feed, just give me a yes. Let me know how long you've been tuning in in the comments. I appreciate that. Hit the thumbs up on your way. Now, before we jump into the actual tool on the screen, you need to understand the theory behind this advanced SEO strategy. We're going beyond keyword research and putting the keyword in the title and the description and your tags, right? That's the basic SEO strategy. I have a lot of content that covers those basic strategies. Those links will be down in the description. So if you're new to SEO, SEO completely, make sure you go through that. But this tool is beginner friendly as well. Everything about this is completely beginner friendly and it's extremely powerful. It's really truly based on the engagement side of YouTube's algorithm. YouTube's always monitoring how much time people view, but really truly they're monitoring how many clicks compared to your competitors you're getting from the search engine result page. And what YouTube does is they give you more exposure, more impressions, more reach when you get a better click through rate than your opponent. So we're going to learn how to manipulate that, how to test that scientifically to really truly improve based on data what you're actually doing on each and every video. With that said, I want to jump in. Now I've got a search result page up here. This is the search result page for how to invest in real estate. And I want to really break down how this works so you can understand exactly how this works for you. Now on this example, the theory is that if you, let me get my colored black pen here real quick. So let's say this one's you right here, okay? And let's say you're getting a 5% click-through rate. And let's say this person's getting a 6% click-through rate, this person's getting a 7% click-through rate, and this person's getting a 4% click-through rate. Now, obviously I'm using very rough numbers. I don't know any of these people, but the theory is that when you increase your click-through rate and you get up to 6.5%, they will leapfrog you. YouTube's algorithm will actually move you up and it will move them down. And that's how you increase in the rankings. This gives you more reach, more exposure, more clicks and everything. So the question becomes, what can you do? What can you actually manipulate in order to improve or increase your rankings? Well, there's three things. Literally, there's three things. So number one is the actual thumbnail. Now the thumbnail is the biggest, most attention grabbing item on the search result page. Also, it's the biggest, most attention grabbing thing on the browse feature, on the suggested feature, when you open your app on the home screen. So we're gonna focus mostly on this today because it's the biggest kind of boldest thing that catches the eye. You also have the title. That is one of the kind of areas you can manipulate. This tool will allow you to split test your titles as well. And then down here, we've got the description. And this is actually the first 120 characters or so of your description. Now, I've taught in other videos, as I mentioned, that the links are in the description, how to optimize those best for your first shot. But then how do you improve? How do you go from 5% up to 7%, right? Because that's obviously what's gonna move your videos up, up, up. That's through split testing. That's exactly what you're about to learn right here and now. So let's jump into it. Now, in order for this to work, you do need to have a specific tool and you need the legend level. Now you can get the tool. I'll have a link pop up above my head in the top corner of the video or you can just go to milesbeckler.com forward slash vid, V-I-D. You must have this tool and what it does is it allows you to set up and run and track the efficiency of the split tests from each of these pieces. And this is the exact tool that I'm going to show you how to use. But before we get into the tool itself, we need to figure out what our average click-through rate is on our channel. And then we need to figure out which videos are getting lots of impressions, but have below average click-through rates. Within the new studio beta, this is actually extremely easy to do. I'm, I have uh, a love-hate relationship with this new studio beta, but this is actually one of the really cool features that is only available here. So inside of your studio beta, you wanna click on analytics, and then down under top videos, you click the see more button. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna load the last 28 days for you and it's gonna give you lots of data we never used to have before. So what we have and what we're focusing on is the impressions column and the impressions click-through rate. Click on the impressions column in order to sort by impressions. 
By default, it's showing me the last 28 days, and I think that's a great window to focus on. If you don't have a lot of data, you can open it up to the last 90 days if you want by clicking on just the little date range up here, and then you would just choose the last 90 days. But for this example, I'm gonna use 28 days. Up top, this gray bar shows clearly that my total average of click-through rates for all of my videos. And now I've been putting out videos for two and a half years. I've got 500 videos, I've got about 92,000 subscribers. My click-through rate is on average 3.9%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look down what has, and again, we sorted by impressions. So as I go down, I know these are my highest impression videos, which ones have the lowest click-through rate? Well, is organic Facebook marketing dead? That video clearly has a below average click-through rate. Uh, this one's way below, how to make money with Pinterest affiliate marketing. Now I'm not gonna optimize these because I've already done it, right? These are actually up and running in the tool. Like I said, I'm using this tool. This is actually the tool I use and, and I like, um, but when I come down enough, there is my, um, the $5 Facebook ads, you can see it's 3.5%. This is the next one kind of on my list to do. And I just figured I'd, I'd let you follow along to see how I optimize this. So again, at this point, you went in to your, all your videos and the analytics, you're looking at the highest impressions. So we're sorted by impressions, highest to lowest. And then we look at the click-through rate and we find Find the lowest click-through rate. I would start with this one, but you'll see this one's already running. We'll look at the data from this one here in a minute. Um, at this point, you're ready to go into the tool. And again, you can get to the tool at milesbeckler.com forward slash vid. You need to go ahead and get set up with the legend account level, and then you click the ad channel and you get your channel tied in. Once it's tied in, you simply click on the AB tests and it loads the area. Now, this is these are the ones I have running. Remember, I was telling you the the Pinterest one would be the first one I'd work on. So it's here running. We'll look at that in a minute, but I wanna actually set up a new split test with you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click create AB test and it's gonna load and ask me which videos I want to run with. So I can just click the different videos right here. These are kind of my, what, six most recent videos, but I wanna search for that one. And I just searched by name. So it was $5 Facebook ads and give it a quick second to auto populate this. So I just did a quick search for the name. I've got it here. I click and it loads it into the test. If I want to remove this from my test and choose another one, I click the little red X icon here. So this is essentially giving us the types of AB tests we can run. And again, I believe that the thumbnail is the biggest thing we can test. You have the ability through the metadata test to test more than one thing, but you got to remember, and you should know this about split testing. You want to always split test one variable at a time. If I go make a new variation that has a different thumbnail, a different title, and a different description, and I and it wins, and I move my click-through rate up, how do I know which component moved it up? Or if it drops it down, I don't know which component drops it down. So as I'm doing this process, I focus in on one thing at a time, and I'm starting with the thumbnails, but I'm looking for patterns to see which types of thumbnails get better responses. That way I can start to roll them out for all of my new videos, theoretically increasing my click-through rate for everything I do from this point on. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So if you do the metadata test, only test the title or only test the top of the description in order. I think the thumbnail is most important then the title, then the top 120 characters of the description. So you can work your way through one at a time. But for right now, I'm going to click select the click through rate test for the thumbnail. And it wants to know how long am I going to run this for? So, there's an idea called statistical significance that you need to understand. And that means when you have low sample size, when you have low numbers of impressions and click-throughs, your data is gonna jump around a lot. One day you could have 7%, the next day you could have 2%, then you have 5%. But when you get to 500 impressions or 1,000 impressions, you're gonna see a very consistent level. So you need to let your tests run long enough. If you're getting thousands of impressions per day, you probably want to run until st statistics significant. If you're only getting a couple, a dozen, a few dozen, 100, 200 impressions per day, you'll probably want to set it for a number of days and let it run for 14 days. In this situation, I'm going to go ahead and select the run until statistically significant, and then we're going to click continue. So it pulls up my original thumbnail. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse my computer real quick and grab the second one that I made, which is right here. And you can see, uh, I'm making a very distinct test, right? Uh, Jay Abraham, who's a marketing guy that I've looked up to, he's, he's old school, cool in the world of marketing. He always says, uh, 
Test the screams, not the whispers. Test the yells, not the whispers. So I wouldn't want to necessarily run a test where I change one or two words and I keep the same imagery. I want to test something totally different. And you notice in my test, I'm not talking about Facebook. I don't say the words Facebook. I don't restate my title. I'm trying to use something that's curiosity inducing. That's because a lot of people are biting off of my thumbnail style. So now I blend in, whereas I was the first one to run this type of a video about two years ago. So now I'm trying something totally new so I can stand out. The question is, is this going to increase or decrease my click through rate? I don't know. That's why we use a tool to actually test these ideas. So I click start test and then it just wants to remind me that it's going to take four days to get the data. It requires two days to collect the data and then YouTube has a two day delay. So I'm going to say yes, start the test and then sure enough, we're up and running. So it tells me that my initial results will be ready on Monday, April 15th, today's the 10th. So it's gonna take four full days beyond now to get that going and that's it. So what I wanna go show you is what it looks like after I've had the data running on some of mine that are in progress. And let's look at that, the make the, the Pinterest one uh, before that I ran that I looked at that was a 2.4% conversion rate. So here are the two that I had. This was the original, it said make money on, and then the Pinterest logo. And then the variation I made said make money on pinning or make money pinning with a Pinterest. Not a huge variation, I know, but I'm, I'm really testing some different things. What it shows me here is the total views, the average view duration, the estimated total minutes watched, and then the daily views. And then it gives me the sources. Now it wants me to click here to gather the click through rate data. I did this earlier, so it's refreshed data already. So I don't need to do this again, but you do want to click that button before you go because it'll open up the in the next window your account and it'll pull all the data from your account. But it's already here. So I can see that my variation, right, which is the new one I created, has increased the total number of views. The variation has increased the average view duration and the variation has increased the number of minutes watched. Those are all the key metrics. It's just changing the different thumbnail has changed all of my key metrics that YouTube's algorithm is watching that that's what they decide whether they should give me more impressions, more views or not. This is all extremely good. I ignore this middle graph and then I'm looking at the traffic sources. So on the search, right? The search feature, when somebody actually searches for um, how to make money with Pinterest or how to do Pinterest affiliate marketing, I'm getting more 87 instead of 75. I'm getting more people now. That's about 15% more click throughs from the search page on the suggested videos. I'm getting more clicks and on the browse feature, I'm getting more clicks. All of my data at this early phase, and it's still early, I want more data. Again, I don't feel like I have enough impressions for statistical significance, but we're close. And all of the data is showing clearly that my variation I made in here as a split test is actually doing better. You wanna go look at another one of my split tests? If you're liking this, if you enjoy these types of videos, give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments. Say, yes, I like these follow along videos. I'm happy to do more as long as you're interested in them. So let's do, um, is Facebook dead? We'll look at that one. That was another one that was on the list um, that had low. And again, I've pulled all of this. So you can see on my variation, this one, I actually did a different title is what I actually did. Um, it's dropped the amount of views. It's dropped the amount of minutes watched and it's got me a few more from search, but it's actually lowered it on browse there. So I actually need to go in and do a kind of an image test on that one. And we'll go into one more quick, just so you can see how this worked. My number one sales trick. This was a thumbnail test. So no one gives this away versus my number one sales trick. And you can see here, this is huge, right? So the original total views was only 663 in the same amount of time. The variation has 981 views. It increased my view duration. It massively increased the number of minutes watched. And then the YouTube search, it went down a little bit, but suggested and browse, it went way, way, way up. To be honest with you, most video views are happening from the browse feature. So I value this increase more than I care about this tiny detail decrease here. Again, this one's pretty close. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close to being ready to saying, yes, this one works. The reason why I say that is I've driven already approximately 520 views from just one side, which means that I've got, you know, 800 plus views. So it's been, it's been displayed several thousands of times. So I, I believe I have statistical significance on this, but I'm going to let it run for a little bit longer. This is what you're looking for. This is the game. And this is how you scientifically 
actually improve everything that you're doing on YouTube right now. Because as you can increase your click through rate, as you also increase the watch time, the view duration, and all of those other metrics, YouTube's algorithm is going to like your videos. And when YouTube's algorithm likes your videos, because it can see that users have a great experience with them. What's the experience? It's the click through rate. It's how often or how long they watch, right? It's those metrics. When they see that they're going to show you to more people, you get more views, you get more thumbs up, you get more likes, you get more subscribers, your channel grows faster. And that's the whole goal of YouTube SEO. I hope you've had a good time on this video. I hope it's been helpful, intelligent. Again, the tool is at milesbeckler.com forward slash vid vid. Uh, you need a legend account to be able to unlock that specific tool. Any questions, get it me in the comments. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.